Well then, ladies and gentlemen, we are back again. <laughs> Sorry, I did you a bit. You wanna do we're, back, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're <laughs> back. Here we are. Let me welcome you back to the most consistent agricultural podcast ooh, out there. Ooh, ooh. We are here to make your day. And to my left, <laughs> I have the one, the only, the Canadian bear tamer, the man, <laughs> the myth, the organic top shagger. You're going to introduce yourself I'll or something? I'm going to say my name. Uh, like Budger, I, I am the black of the group from the short and back the ugly. And to my right, we've got the one, the only, the Scottish Highland maestro, <laughs> Mr. Luke Curtis, and I am the ugly of the podcast today. I'm Dylan. And are we going to <laughs> And at the end of the table here, we've got the big man, the man, the myth, legend, uh, aka that farmer dude, as he as he likes to be called, the uh, the super maestro who is Dylan. Bob. Well done. And you're well like, done. Sure. Ah, I'll be whatever, mate. I'll be whatever, mate. I'll be whatever. No idea. Oh, but we're here again, we episode are. fourteen. And just before we crack on, I would like to say, if you like what we do here at mm-hmm. SBU and you want to see a little bit more and different content, please follow us on all the socials. Please subscribe to the YouTube and the Spotify, um, and leave us a review. Tell us how we're doing. If you don't like yeah. what we're doing, tell us. Did you like what we're doing? Tell yeah. us. If we're shit, if we're, we're all ears. We are indeed. That's it. That's it. Let us hear it. So, but where have you been? More importantly, you you skipped an episode. You've been slacking. Yeah, we've propped the uh, team up as usual. Oh, that's it. Um, well, so I, I take my hat doing all the guys. work and putting the back, put the fucking effort in, and we did it. Yeah. No, thank you very much for Alfie for uh, coming on and stuff, taking my place. <laughs> Some people might think that he's had a shave and uh, lost a bit of timber, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I've uh, yeah, I've been the other side of the world. <laughs> Don't think I'd ever say that in my life, but uh, yeah, I went to Canada. Um, it was amazing. Oh, was it? Absolutely amazing. Didn't see yeah. any bears though. We did go bear hunting when I called you guys last time. Didn't see anything. Was a little bit annoyed about that. Saw a stuffed one in the uh, adventure park, but <laughs> as close as I got. <laughs> but when you get a selfie with it. I should have done to be fair. I Mate, that's done. poor show. Yeah, no, I know. But no, it's fantastic. I mean, the weather was shit out there at the beginning. It got nicer. Then I came back here and obviously brought the weather back here and then it turned really nice out there. But a um, lot of walking, a lot of sightseeing, not much farming out there. I must admit, didn't see any farm animals. I always thought it'd be a big country for farming out there. Yeah, yeah. maybe you maybe, to, yeah. Um, You should have gone to Saskatchewan. <laughs> Where? Saskatchewan. Oh, no, I didn't go there. I went to Vancouver, which obviously is the city, so you ain't going to see anything in there. <laughs> and, Tell uh, you what, you went the wrong week, actually, because this week is Calgary Stampede. You should have gone yeah, there. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. I literally spoke to someone on the phone the other day, and they were like, oh, I see you've been out to Canada. I was like, yeah, yeah. What did you go for? The Calgary Stampede? And I was like, no. Why? When's that? They were like, oh, wait, no, it's this week. I was like, oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, that would have been amazing. That was poor show, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, that is poor for me. But, um, but no, it's fantastic. Glad to be back. Um, if I go out there again, I might do, I might not. Who sees? What was the food like? Expensive. Was it? Yeah. Really? Ooh. Yeah. Bloody expensive. We went and uh, got some grocery shopping. Yeah. And I think we walked out there with nine items or something, and it was like $80, which is sure. equivalent to like 50 What were the nine items? A bit of salmon, a <laughs> bit oh, of right. beef. He's eating, he's eating well, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. But salmon, bit of beef, some pepper, cucumber, new potatoes. Mm. So, um, seeing as you went shopping over there, how is it that how, in the produce in the in the supermarkets? Is it like Canadian produce, or is it like... No, some of it's been shipped over from, from here. Um, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's some but how do, they, how do they... Obviously, they have... Canadian farmers and producers. Yeah, and stuff. yeah. How do they label it compared to like how you'd go into a British supermarket here, see the Union Jack, and then? See oh no, they don't have a, n- none of that. Yeah, it's just, literally just like a fish or a cow or something. Right. And, and yeah, and then it's just all all there. I mean, the one thing is unbelievable there is the chicken. Like you just see this shelf, and it is just full of all the different chicken cuts. But it is like full. There is so yeah. much of it. Literally, I stood there. I was like, <laughs> "Fuck, that's a lot of chicken." <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen so much chicken. I mean, you go down to the supermarket here, you kind of like just find the last bit of like chicken breast on the shelf. Like, oh yeah, that'll do. It goes out of date tomorrow. But there, hundreds of it. Was it nice chicken? I didn't have any to be oh. fair, but <laughs> <laughs> all that chicken you never look, never it tried. It didn't it. look the nicest. Let's we just sent say that. you there as an as a as a, a, a an envoy from. Um, his Majesty's crown, and he did no research at all. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is it. We're Hummus not... is good, though. 
Hummus. Who? Hummus? Hummus? Hummus or the who? Hummus. What the fuck is that? Hummus. <laughs> you know, like guacamole and stuff like that? A dip, basically, for crisps. Or chips, as they like to call them. We're going to get a video of you trying to put your first ever bit of hummus in a minute. You ain't going to like put it. Put it on fucking Instagram. <laughs> you won't like it. No, you will hate it. It's not, it's not a steak or potatoes. No. <laughs> <laughs> with cheese, with cheese. Oh yeah, with cheese. cheese. Yeah. Who <laughs> <laughs> You're some man. <laughs> no. I'm not being funny, but that, 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 that's some white people shit. <laughs> 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 I couldn't agree more. <laughs> yeah, oh, it, you, you, I can tell it, ta- it, I, I, it. It tastes what I assume seaweed would taste like. No, I can tell. <laughs> it's just it just looks black. Seaweed. I, you know, do you know what it's made from? Go on. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's just made from chickpeas. Yeah, it's blended. What up the chickpeas fuck are chickpeas? Oh, <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> Who chickpea? <laughs> Peter the chick. <laughs> So it's a chicken. Basically, I, before the egg comes out, a little pea comes out, and it's called the chickpea. Yeah, it's like right, <laughs> like a little stone, isn't yeah. it? And then no, they mash oh, them up and plant, put them in. It's a, a plant. Yeah, I've actually seen one in the wild. What a chickpea? A wild chickpea. A chickpea what, plant. What, what, <laughs> what does it do? Climb in a tree or something? <laughs> <laughs> and now we have the chickpea yeah. <laughs> in its natural environment. <laughs> Oh, he just made out that was like some extinct bloody um, <laughs> animal or something. Yeah. Uh, but no, it was it was bloody brilliant, and yeah, a lot of sights to see out there. Um, not long enough, but got to come back to the to this country and yeah, do some, do some work. Part time work. That's it on the organic farm. <laughs> That's it. But what have you guys been up to? Oh, thank you. How's it been? What's been going on? It's been quite busy this last been few weeks, isn't it? It's been wet. Yeah. It's been wet. Yeah. No, just trying to peel sheep. But we've made it work. Yeah. We've, we've made, made it work. work. Peel sheep. Yep. That's pretty much... Peeling, peeling, peeling. No, it's peeling, wheeling and dealing. <laughs> peeling, wheeling and dealing. That's it. How have you found it this year, though? <clears throat> I think it's been going all right. We've had some... Well... We've had a few sticky jobs, haven't we? Yeah. This is, cool. the, tr- this is the trouble with, like... Doing, I've, I've decided doing like pet yep. jobs or, or mm. small runs is that you that's where you get the all sorts, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, where, sh- that's where you get the weird and wonderful. Like, and they are like a packet of licorice, all sorts, shaking up and put in a field, yeah. Yeah, and then you, <laughs> get the, you get that nice fat yeah. Sally that walks across the field and she's like, <laughs> shit, <in hell." laughs> they've all got names, yeah. haven't they? They've all got names, but uh, yeah, you got you got to turn up there and you, this sheep's fucking massive. <laughs> And it's kicking. It's all right, Doreen. It's all right. Yeah. It's all right. <laughs> oh, this is Sarah, yeah. not Doreen. I was like, I was making a joke, but okay. <laughs> oh, Sarah was born on the 16th of November, 2018. It's had a sore leg three years ago, but it's much better now. But can you just check that it's okay? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we can. <laughs> Make sure or an extra 40 quid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thing is they would yeah the package we come with mate i tell you what we've done some stuff for them sheep haven't we yeah okay. yeah we give them okay. a little head stroke as well and tell tommy he's all right and uh then peel away and shear him and then do his feet and chat yeah. to the customer and so how many do you reckon you've sheared so far <laughs> i can know what sheep in total this season this or season sheep, or pet sheep or i oh, just sheep in, t- in total this season. Is ringing. Oh, more, no. more than I want to. <laughs> the back is telling me no, no but there's still some left with jackets on. <laughs> I tell you what, we did we did some of my own um two days ago. Fuck you yeah, know, it was stinking warm. It was like the hottest day this whole summer. Oh, it felt like it. We're yeah. in the sun, and we got, <laughs> It wasn't even that we did, warm. We did the <laughs> first. Warm. We did the first hundred. We rattled through them, and we're like, "We are flying, boys! We are flying!" We got, and then we got a little bunch of sixty-six in, and it got to about two in the afternoon. <sighs> I had to stop like every three sheep. I was like, 
<laughs> I think we need to rebrand ourselves because I've noticed when you and I go shearing these pet jobs, we sweat like fuck. <laughs> we look like we've just dealt, jumped in a pond and come back out onto the shearing board. I think we should be called the sweaty shearers. <laughs> the sweaty shearers. Oh, I like that. I think we should I be called the sweaty that. shearers. It's a little business. Because like literally that. every yeah. sheep, I'm on a town, mate. I'm sweating. Do you, know, good do you know the best thing about sweating so much? Is that it makes it look like you're working hard yeah. to give you a bit more money because you're like, <laughs> <laughs> there's only three sheets of the pen behind. <laughs> little, do they know, yeah, little do they know, we're just burning out all the alcohol that we drank the yeah. night before. <laughs> Literally. He's glowing like a fucking snow globe. People go for a run outside, have a nice fright, though. Fuck it, let's go shear three sheep. And then I made it. the sh- the first sheep I sheared the, uh, the other day after the Kent show, after all that sh- drinking. I'm sure she was drunk when she left the board because I was dripping that much <laughs> on her. <laughs> <laughs> she come off the board sideways I was thinking fucking hell steady on I had a good weekend didn't I <laughs> where was it we went we went to a job one morning a Saturday morning or something we turned up we set, we set everything up got the first sheep out and I went over and I'm like, oh, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> shit <laughs> I thought you were speaking a different language. I was like, fuck me, is he all right? I'm going to get Chandra all over me back in a minute. And that's not Shit. Just turned all the sheep over. He's thinking, so like, yeah, ooh. Steady, oh. keep it down. Keep it down. <laughs> Steady. I was dying on the board laughing. I was thinking, fuck it, oh, this ain't going to look good, is it? Oh, God. Oh, oh, first God. client of the day. Oh, good fun. Oh, good fun. <laughs> that's been a challenging one, though, isn't it, this year? Like, yeah, it's come later, stuff. though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's come later because of the weather, really. Yeah, definitely. Um, that is the one thing that that can wind us up a little touch is with these pet jobs is they want to get done really early. Yeah. And I understand from a wealth, welfare perspective that they want them done, but it just com- doesn't come off of them. It's not coming off, no. it's not it, worth doing. It's yeah. worse. It's, I think it's worse on the sheep to fight them and just oh, go yeah. rrr, with a handpiece every five fucking blows. Just stress them out. Oh, it? man. And well, and then you start going for equipment. And then because of the weather. Yeah. Everyone wants to go. Yeah. As yeah. soon as the, the, everyone's ringing mm-hmm. you, like, fucking, let's go, let's go. I'm like, no, it doesn't work like this. Yeah, yeah. you got to try and please everyone, but you can't. Yeah, yeah and, now, and now we've got rain, shit, and whatnot, and you're trying to get yeah, the main lights done. Like, the past couple of days, like, there was that day, obviously, when you were shooting, that must have been when it was hot. Next day, absolute torrential downpour. Yeah, cool. We had some rain that was Sunday, oh, wasn't it? Jesus. I've never seen anything like it. How it can just change that quick. Yeah, we were loading cattle up out of the Kent show, and Christ alive, warm, it yeah. was going crazy. Yeah. People were bringing cattle out and just, oh, it was just pouring down, and the cows wouldn't go out of the marquee, and fucking fucking lightning and thunder over the top of it. I was thinking, Christ, we had some loose cattle in a minute. It was bloody hot last year, wasn't it, out there? Yeah, last year, yeah. yeah, yeah it was yeah. real hot, but, but no. So, you've been to the Kent show then? Yeah, yeah, we went for a, another jolly outing with some cattle. So, a few days off the farm. Um, Good show. Yeah, it was actually really enjoyed it. It, um, yeah, it's not not a massive. Well, it's a big, it's a big enough showground, but they don't get a big entries of cattle. But no, no, no. Um, no it was. It, why not? Why, why, why do you think that is? Then? <clears throat> uh, well, you've got the Great Yorkshire, which has been on this week. So mm. to tie the two in, you've either got to go straight from Kent up to Yorkshire. Yeah. Um, it, yeah. So it just doesn't really link up. Yeah. Um, That's a hell of a drive. Yeah. <laughs> but the, the people do it. People yeah. do do it. Um, yeah. There's a lot of people with sheep that were going straight up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I know a few people last year that did the same with cattle. Mm. Um, but yeah, no, it was, it was a good show. There's a good turnout. Nice, nice stock about. Um, and yeah. So th- th- here's my question to you boys, because obviously you boys show a lot. Um, there's loads of farms out there, obviously with pedigree animals and animals that they can take out to shows. What do the shows need to do to encourage these people to come showing? Because without that's a good question. When when oh, it's one thing that. Goes when, straight to mind. Without the livestock there, the shows are pretty much worthless because it's just going around, yeah. walking, looking at camper vans and hot tubs and windows. Yeah, yeah. double glazing hot tubs, isn't it? So what? You know, you you go to these shows and you see like, obviously, I don't know what they were like years and years ago, but when I first started going to them, you can even see the numbers going down from there. You've got to look at the south of England and the amount of dairy entries they've had, yeah, 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 yeah. and stuff like that. How do you? How do we get people back, or it, farmers back into these shows? I think f- the fundamental one is cost. Yeah. It costs a lot. It, it's not cheap. Nah. You, to be fair, the three or four shows that I've been to this year, I could go on a bloody nice holiday if I wanted to, mm-hmm. instead of doing that. Um, 
but you go to support the event. But yeah, it cost is a main one because you're paying for your entries, your stalls. Then you've got your grub, obviously, to feed the animal. So you've got to feed an animal completely different to a commercial herd. Transport, if uh, you don't, transport, yeah. Don't do it yourself. Um, then you then you've got your cost while you're there. So you're off the farm for three to four days, mm. um, and then yeah, feed and drink for yourself. It it all adds up. Um, but you yeah, like I say, you go to support the event because. Otherwise, there won't be any. But I think they need to encourage. In terms of running, that <laughs> you don't mind going to support the event if it runs smoothly. Mm. Um, and we understand that the stewards and everybody involved with the show give their time up for free, don't they? But yeah. sometimes it can be an absolute shambles. Yeah, it can. Um, I mean, this year there's, there was a few problems. Um, yeah. And I think from sitting on the committee of the South of England one, I mean. The one thing that I've noticed is the fact the classes, mm-hmm. like there needs to be dedicated classes. Like this year, there was a few more classes. Like the Parfenay, they had their own classes this year. That's the yeah. first time they've done it. Yes, okay, there was only one breeder that came out, but he bought the animals out. Two breeders, mm. two breeders that came out. So that's enough, like to be able to run a class. Yeah. But if you don't put the class on, then you're not going to get the animals there. And if, you, if you're if you going to keep chucking the animals in any other breed and all of this, well, I'm sorry, but how can you judge a Highland up against a Belgian Blue? Like, it, it just doesn't, it, it's just impossible. I think the thing that gives it a sour note is when something goes wrong with the running of it, then people get upset and yeah, run them yeah. and then oh, bring everyone else down. Don't start me on your show not getting upset. No, no, but it, it is. Look, it's, it's, it's simple. You've got a class, you've got to t- dress your cow up, you take it out in the ring, you bring it back and that's it. Yeah. That's all there is to it. There isn't isn't rocket science, but sometimes it can go horribly wrong where mm. one cow's in the wrong class and then someone throws the toys out of the pram and it all gets a bit hostile yeah. and then it puts a dampener on the whole show, which it shouldn't do no, really because no. you're going there to you you is our shop window as British farmers to the public to see what animals are. Yeah, um, I think as well it's a case of getting letting the public interact more with yeah. us in the cattle lines because yeah, but so. And I, I can speak to Craig about this because him and I had the same thought. Is there's lovely all the like all these cat all these public walking down the cat lines, you know, but you lot have all gone out to have your lunch and your supper mm-hmm. and you have a drink and the, so it's just people looking at a cow. There's no education for them. No, there's no. You're not standing there speaking to the public. So yeah. it's it's that, there is that, that, well that's in, but that is, that's that's where the farmers do lack on that, and I can easily say that the farmers yeah, but do I'm not, I'm not saying put it on the farmers no. but put it on the show to have designated people stewards whatever mm-hmm. walking around to speak. just to speak to the public because yeah, at yeah. the at, ultimately at the end of it all it's just education mm. That's, that, that is the ultimate goal for farming I think to keep the public on our side we need to educate them that's it and yeah. if it's if it's the case of just saying so and so you're a steward here's <laughs> Stand there for half hour, here's brochure yeah. and stuff. Can you just explain what breed these yeah. are? Yeah, and have a badge saying, ask me a question or something so yeah, yeah. people know you're approachable. Or, or they have a nice, quiet calf or rotate the animal where p- the public could touch it, you know, because they want to touch touch a calf. They want that interaction. Yeah. And when they get told, no, sorry, that animal's wild or they touch the wrong beast. Mm. Because you, like you said, we're not there all the time. And the thing that frustrates us a lot is when the, the public come in, they go in and around all of our kit and and all the all the cows and sometimes they're not the quietest of beasts, you know, and they yeah. don't want a push chair or a dog or some baby screaming around them, you know, because yeah. they yeah. don't see that in a field most three hundred sixty two days of the year, you know. <laughs> um, it's even like demonstrations though that you should be putting on, like yes, okay, yeah. <clears throat> you've got the butchers and auctioneer one, mm-hmm. which yeah, it's good fun and stuff, but it's like the milk you've got dairy there. Do a milking demonstration yeah. and stuff. Like, yeah. really go into it and everything. And yeah. even have more seating around and rings. I, and I, I do strongly believe that a lot of these shows and these committees, not just on show committees, on whether it's your breed societies, or what, I think they're very, very old and outdated. Sorry to the people it might offend, but the age the age. I'm not range, part of any of them, so... <laughs> you, you, you are. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, no, I totally agree. Is, and... Yes, they want to be a part of these committees and as as you want people with experience and knowledge on there, yeah. but you also want approachable people. You want people that someone can walk up to and have a conversation with without them getting 
grumpy at them. Mm. Thing is, though, I can sit here and I can say that I am the youngest person on two committees, one for a show and one for a society. Yes, there probably would be a couple more people on, but a lot of young people don't want to do it because they're not what? interested in it. Like, for I'm... instance, the, cat, the cattle committee at South of England. Yes, okay, there are a lot older people on it. There's no other younger people that I've known that would go, yeah, all right, I'll come on it kind of thing. Yeah, but okay, you, you've got a great opportunity where you are because you've, you've been, obviously, through Young Farmers and you've been along the right lines. Mm. But where does me sitting in the pub or working my job where do I hear about uh, yeah, yeah, a space yeah, okay. open on your committee? Yeah. I, would yeah. Yeah, I would do it. Yeah, I would do it as well. It. It's hearing about it. Yeah. Where, where yeah. do I hear about it? You don't advertise for it. You just put... You, do you want to come on the committee? Yeah, I'll come. <laughs> okay, do you want it? Yeah. Perfect. I'll come. I'll come wind some faction now. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'll upset them all. No, it is. I, I totally agree with that. Yeah. Um, but no, they're, and I must... They're, young people should be confident enough to go on to committees mm-hmm. and have their say. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, we're the next ones that are going to be running things like that yeah but it's it sounds wrong but the, the older generation are very approachable are they really no. not in farming they're not not all of them yeah oh yeah there's, there's the older exception there's, yeah. but yeah yeah there's but one. yeah no to, yeah and then yeah, yeah. If you're on that committee on your own how many times have you been shut down because you're one voice on your own every time yeah that's <laughs> what i mean <laughs> That, yeah, but that, I told you, that's what I say. Like, I'm literally one voice against like six, seven other people kind of thing. They might sit there and go, mm, yeah, okay. Whether it happens, it doesn't. And it's just like, oh, right, okay, well, what's the bloody point in it? But then at the end of the day, I sit there and think, well, there is a point in it because one day I'm going to be like them. Yeah, but then that's where you'd hope that you'd give the opportunity to someone that's our age when you're mm. theirs. To, to bring yeah, yeah. fresh blood yeah. into it and liven it up it's a, a gen- bit. It's a generational thing, I think. <clears throat> I think it is a massive, massive generational thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, but you're not wrong, though. People, you know, the youngsters have to take it upon themselves, to be fair, and mm. put themselves out there and want to do these things. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway. Well, hold on a minute. Go on. You organised a big event on the Friday night at Kent Show. Oh, um, no, I didn't do that. That was Ellie. Ah, uh-huh. I was just I was just security and bastard. Just security before she went away. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Bye, Ellie. <laughs> Enjoy your time. Oh, she doesn't listen, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just put it in there. Have a nice time, Ellie. I'll be nice. <laughs> just for our listeners that don't know, Dylan's uh, lovely lady's uh, gone for six months, isn't she? Yeah. Where's well, she gone? Is it a working holiday or is it a? Uh, it's a holiday. Just a holiday. Were you, were you the police or something? I was just asking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, she's gone to Kiwiland. Um, oh. Yeah. We, nice. Well, basically, um, we were set down at the dinner table with her parents. And we thought, oh, after this this uh, election, we thought we'd ship her out there. She's going to put the roots in. <laughs> she's going to find like a Kiwi man, marry, get a green card. And we'll all just... Go over there. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you in all of this? Huh? It's a double, ma- double marriage, oh. isn't it? <laughs> a polyamorous relationship. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever well, floats your boat, boy. Yeah. Some Kiwi link up here, That's boy. It. He's just thinking of the sheep. Yeah. It's free sheep, he could shit and sweat like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd do the pet run in, in Kiwi. Yeah. <laughs> the pet run over there is like 500 sheep. Literally. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. Well, no, hopefully she has a nice time out there. We'll see her on her returns. Mm-hmm. I know you put on a good show on Friday night. Nice party, didn't you? Yeah, it was a nice little bash. It was nice to see mm-hmm. young farmers get there. Yeah. And really, apart from the few rules I had to put down, um, uh. have, a, have, a, have a laugh. Have a laugh. That's what, what it's all about. For your listeners who don't know, I'll say it now because Ken Show's gone. Um, Ken Show or young or Kent Young Farmers put on a Friday evening bash for young farmers at Ken Show. It's, it's a fixed price. All you can drink. Drink till you mm-hmm. drop. Absolutely fantastic, and also yeah. can I just say credit to the young farmers who did come. They were they drank and drank and drank, and they're fucking well behaved. To be fair, really, yeah, they weren't. But there weren't much hassle. That was fucking spot on. There probably wasn't much alcohol left over either, was there? None. Not really. No. Oh, that's all right. That's good though. No, that was they. They fucking they drank a lot, didn't they? Fuck did yeah. they? Jesus Lord. Remember last year's one? That was unbelievable. <laughs> buckets and stuff of water where the beers have been there going over people and stuff it was a good laugh but 
<laughs> no, it was great fun. Absolutely spot on. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Well, I think as well we've had a big shape up, haven't we? <laughs> yeah, a big uh, shake of the old feedback, wasn't it? <laughs> they all came running. <laughs> yeah. Labour lot are in. Yeah. Yeah, old Kia. Yeah. Here we go. Kia Picanto. Mm-hmm. Um, what do we think then, boys? I don't think we're going to rate a glass, right. are we? <laughs> uh, good luck. That's what I'll say. Wish you, wish well you done, Leighton. Um, <laughs> I think might as well. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean that people say you should never talk about politics, money and religion and stuff like that, but I think this is a massive shape-up mm. for the country. Mm. Um, for British farming? Yeah, British farming. I mean, no one knows where it's going to go. No. Um, and at the end of the day... Politics is all the same. They give you what you want to hear, but when will they actually follow through? Who knows? Who knows? Exactly. Yeah. Um, um, so, what, what, what? My question to you was: um, every, obviously, every um, political party puts out a manifesto. Labour's manifesto wasn't farming. Had eighty-seven words or something, yeah. wasn't it? Labour's manifesto was more countryside rather than targeting whatever and only had 87 words laying out what they want to do for the future of the countryside Mm -hmm. what do we what do we think (laughs) i think there's a lot more than 87 words about our job we say (laughs) (laughs) yeah you're gonna get a few more than 87 back (laughs) Um, a couple of fucks pumped into there as well (laughs) it's it's poor really yeah because at the end of the day the countryside is only here because of the farmers so realistically, if you're going to sit there and talk about the country... I rebuke that statement. It's a terrible statement, and I think you should be ashamed and sit in a corner and think about what you've just said. Why? There's loads more than just farmers in the country. So what about yeah, the okay. game? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right. I, yeah, okay. I'll take that back. I see what you <laughs> mean. Right. Look at a camera. I'm very Apologize. sorry. I take it back. I've been told <laughs> off again. There's beekeepers. <laughs> There's all sorts There's of... Eco- no, they're e- all, e- they're e- all a farmer in their own way. Like a gamekeeper is a farmer for pheasants and stuff. Fishing, that's farming. Is it? Yeah. Right. Explain yourself. Well, you're farming fish, aren't you? Really? Yeah. Mm. Right. Are you sure? Yep. Are you really sure? Yeah. Yeah. 100% actually. They're they're farming the fish in the sea. They ain't got the sea in the countryside. You could have a little trout farm. Yeah, there's a trout farm, farm down the road there. Yeah, here we go. Oh, back no, 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 he's got me, he's got me, he's got me. There's a big trout farm yeah. down there. <laughs> How does it feel? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I was just thinking about fishing in the sea. I didn't think about that. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, someone's going out with a feed bag every day. I, I will be honest, I don't know much about fish. <laughs> Mate, nor do I. Do you eat them? No. no. Nope. <laughs> do you not? Nope. What? Oh, I don't. Oh no, oh, I don't eat steak anything. Steak and potatoes. Don't eat anything from the sea. <laughs> really? Oh, mate, you got to try mussels and oh, yeah, beautiful, isn't it? Scallops, mm. scallops, scallops, scallops. Yep. Have you ever tried it? What? Any fish? seafood or fish or anything? Yeah. No, I have tried it, but no. What? What have you tried? Ah, uh, maybe the shittest fish. Yeah, I've tried it with cod. Salmon, fucking... <laughs> New cod was coming first. Um, Some fish fingers. Yeah. Oh, yeah, fish fingers. Um, yeah, I've tried a few things. Actually, I, I, I'll tell you what I do kind of not against white bait. Yeah, oh, okay. Apart from that, it's all shit. I'll give you a due, actually. You did have to eat the salmon at the Christmas meal that we had last yeah, week. He did, yeah. <laughs> That's right. When I did I... say to people, though, is there anything that no one likes? Two people came back, you didn't say anything. He oh, rocks he up late. He so rocks much. up late. He's got his Crocs on. Yeah. I'm like, is he seriously going to come in his Crocs? He goes to put smart shoes on. He put smart shoes on. He didn't even put a shirt on. He sat down. Start comes out. Salmon. And I just saw Dylan look down at him. It was like, fuck. Yeah, there's a big sat, table I'm of sat, people. I'm sat right next to him. <laughs> I was like, <sighs> I was looking back. directly opposite him and I just, oh, I was holding my laugh in so much because it was quiet as well and I just seen him looking at the fucking salmon then looking back up looking at the salmon going it's going to be a mission this he's is going to be a mission he's got sweat on his forehead he's thinking, <laughs> fucking raw he's thinking fuck how do I put this in my pocket and go it's to the smoked. toilet it's <laughs> smoked smoked salmon yeah it was beautiful it was beautiful yeah. 
It's fucking raw. But just watching him sweat for 10, 15 minutes while everyone's chug- chugging away and he's going, fuck it, uh, what are we doing now? Wow. And you had your steak and potatoes anyway. Yeah, he did, yeah. But, but anyway, back to what we actually <laughs> yeah. were talking about. Yeah, the Labour yeah, Labour Gun, 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 with the Labour government, the biggest statement they've made is going for the hounds. The hunt. Mm-hmm. Um, and although I am not, I am not a big supporter of the hunt. I have nothing against the hunt, but I don't go out of my way to go watch, watch the hunt and all of that jazz. And mm. I'm not really fussed about the hounds and stuff like that. But what I will say is, I'm on the I'm on their side here because if they take that. If we let them take that, they'll come for it all. Oh, yeah, they'll, they'll love it. They'll come for oh, it all. They will. Day, won't they? And you know what? The one thing that, I, that a lot of people have said to me is I think they could be very, very... They've got to be brave to come for the countryside and for mm-hmm. the, the countryside people because they're one people that oh, I wouldn't mate. want to... Fucking we'll, we'll, with roll out, we'll roll out the protest again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's it. Kia, mate, if you're listening, because I know you're listening, you messaged me the other day. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll roll out the protest. <laughs> yeah, we're coming for you. Yeah, just be careful. Get the get the smoked salmon out ready. <laughs> just be careful. We know where you live, boy. Don't fuck the pit. Don't, <laughs> yeah, don't fuck with the wrong people in this job. Uh, no, literally. But um, good luck to him. It's a yeah, fresh start yeah. for the country, and he might be wrong. Let's see what happens. But but as far as British farming is concerned, we dish we don't know. We, we just, have no we just idea. We just gotta ride the wave. That's the one. Exactly. Ride That's the one. that wave, but. Back um, at it. Mm. But no, I've got a question for you anyway, talking about food and stuff. Now, <clears throat> someone let me into a little secret a little while ago. Don't back. look at me, mate. No, oh, no, me? Yeah, I was looking <laughs> oh, at you. Oh, okay. I, was just, what, I thought someone, you were asking him no, stuff. No, no, no. Okay. Well, we could ask him afterwards how he'd handled the situation. Oh, but shit. Someone told you a secret. How about, yeah, about. Uh, it wasn't me. <sighs> and I don't know the kind of wasn't me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so there's a lot of like games and sport and stuff, but I, I gather that if something to do with an ostrich and an egg, is that like the, the most outrageous thing that you can do back home? Well, probably not. Well, it's the most alive you'll ever feel. <laughs> oh, my God. I was trying to think of so, a right way to, 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 yeah, yeah. to, to say this. <laughs> I'm not just going to say, Dylan, what's the ostrich egg? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is ostrich egg? <laughs> uh, for, for context, for people who are listening, what Luke is trying to say yeah. is, um, obviously we have, um, in Namibia, we have ostriches, wild ostriches, and um, ostrich egg is quite good eating. But it's a very dangerous sport on account of the ostrich will fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Simple and easy. <laughs> so... So, what level do they fuck you up to? Are we talking three rounds of Tyson Fury or they will they they, they will unalive you, mate? <laughs> what okay. would that be? Oh no, they'll kick the fuck out of you. The kid who's in the fucking claws on them buggers. They no got chance. a strong old kick. Oh they? mate, um, but you know <laughs> they're thinking you're just getting whacked with these wings, mate. <laughs> fucking feathers to you know, the top head. You know, in the Olympics, you see like. Kenyans, Ethiopians, and stuff yeah. are very good runners. Yeah. That's why. That's why you do your training. It's like <laughs> a roster. Yeah. yeah. So basically, I'll, I'll explain to you what happens. You've obviously got to locate the nest, said nest of said creature. Okay. And then you got to be a bit clever because you got to like. What you're looking at where they are. Yeah. <laughs> you have a little Examine time the area. Because <laughs> they've obviously got to go around there, like eating worms and stuff around the, around the nest, but also half. Half the eyes on, um, on the nest. So you go in there. there you got to have like a decent amount of you. Obviously, so not. you're stealthing your way in to this fucking nest. And then the first runner comes up. Okie dokie. <laughs> it's like a fucking relay. Oh, it fucking is as well. <laughs> While Dylan's saying this, could everyone just close their eyes and just imagine Dylan doing this? <laughs> the first runner comes up, grabs the egg. <laughs> and fuck me, you run like fuck boy. You run like fuck. Was this always you that did this? Huh? Was it you that grabbed oh, the egg? I wasn't quick enough. I wasn't quick. <laughs> the first guy's got me. <laughs> you're, you're in the car going, hurry up, hurry up. He's the driver. How many eggs are you nicking? Huh? You can like, only you make, filling up your jumper. You no, just charge around. No, you're only grabbing one egg because that's all you got time for, son. <laughs> one egg. 
They're massive eggs, so you got to carry the fucking thing. You got to be carrying two of them, and you're trying to run, and then you just hear and the fucking wings go up, and it's coming, and she's coming. These things clock like fucking forty mile an hour. Fuck it up. So it's coming for that first run, then. And, and how how far are you giving your mate to try and get to you? Is it like hundred meters sprint, or are we talking two hundred meters? Got hundred meters. <laughs> It depends how far the fucking ostrich is, but and you pass. And to be fair, sometimes it does confuse them when you do the first handover because they're like, "Who's going?" So it's like a relay race. Who's, that's what I'm fucking launching his egg about. Shit. But sometimes they clock the egg going because you're like holding it out to pass it on, <laughs> and they clock the egg going. So when you split, you've got it. Oh, mate, it's all about perfect timing as well. You got to hit your corners because they're faster than you. Okay, <laughs> you just duck it and dive in there. You got to hit your corners, mate, because otherwise, <laughs> fucking yeah. I remember one time, <laughs> <laughs> one time it was coming after me, and I was going um so it's sort of a tree going over, and um I was going underneath the tree, didn't see your root. My fucking leg got caught in the rear. I went down. The ostrich went over. I stood up. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the egg? Did you break it? Huh? You no, like... the egg landed, to be fair, the egg landed perfectly on the floor. Oh, I was like, fuck this shit. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> you got time to stand up and pick it up. You got one. It's either you're picking it up and dying or running. <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. Fuck it, though. Do you not have like a second team to go in behind the bastard when that's chasing you and nick all the other buggers? Well, the, the eggs on the... Yeah. No, because at this point, the male's coming. Cause, um, oh, 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 fuck, fuck it out. Don't fuck with daddy. <laughs> daddy ostrich well, is coming for well, you. Well, whichever. <laughs> Should we really try this? Well, ostrich eggs. Well, I've got some emus at home. We could do it with emus. They're the exact same. Just a little bit smaller. We can try it. It'll be funny. The trouble is, you can't... Hit, so, because it's, because it's desert... You can hit your corners a bit better in the sand. Yeah. yeah. You, so you get a little bit dick. of a drift up, the old smoke coming up and everything. <laughs> You're breaking ankles left, right and centre, What's mate? that bird, the, the Looney Tune bird that like... It goes like running really fast. You ever seen it? The road runner? That's the one. That's the one. That's, that's <laughs> the one. <laughs> I was lost me. How did you get that from that, though? That was brilliant. It's too early for this. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, dear. But yes, ostr- ostr- ostrich egg stealing is the best sport you'll ever have. You know, people go out to Africa and like go trophy hunting and shit like that because they want like a big like head of a lion or something. <laughs> oh yeah, you want to go ostrich egg stealing? <laughs> right, we're doing a trip to Africa then. Yeah, let's do it. Namibia's on the cars. We're going there. Just <laughs> Short, to black, and ugly, trying to steal an ostrich egg. egg. Fuck it, let's do I it. Do, I do forget <laughs> sometimes how much of a of a different life it is out there, and you lot just like, <laughs> you live this sheltered life over here, and <laughs> there's like the best you got to worry about is like a rabid fox or something. <laughs> You're worried about rabbits with Mixie and stuff around your farm and everything. And out there, you're worried about ostrich. This could link back to Labour, though, wanting to rewild all these wolves and fucking shit that they want to bring out. Then then, then it'll add a work. bit of sport. It'll never work. <laughs> rewild, get some ostriches here. Yeah, that's it. Let's put in for that. No. <laughs> Let's farm like 3,000 ostriches. Fuck it, it'd be a laugh. Just eggs everywhere. Oh, no. mate, it's good eating. Though. We don't need prison anymore. Let's send them out to go and get pasted by some that, ostriches. They're egg cell for quite a bit of money didn't they and people like draw on them yeah but they um, you've got to get them first well they draw if on you them? Mm-hmm. you people do like loads of artwork they like oh, blow I'll the send, egg out I'll send you a picture of one right. um, I got uh, one for Eddie's mum actually when I yeah, yeah. yeah. Nan's um, got shit loads of them hmm? and they've just got like pictures of like stuff the views and Dylan <laughs> running away from an ostrich <laughs> yeah past this fuck uh, boy nowadays, nowadays in memory of <laughs> people farm them nowadays so that's how they just, they just Get the eggs oh, that way. I see. That's boring. It's, nah, it's not the good old yeah. days. Back in my day, man. <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> oh, oh, it's oh. good fun. I miss home now. I might go back, actually. Right, I've been asked something by Summit as well. We all spend enough time in the pub. Whether we own up to that or not is a different thing. Now, they said to me the other night, what would you call your own pub if you had one? Oh. Go on. Straight in. No, there. don't ask me first because oh. it's always me. It is <laughs> always me. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Yeah, that's, a, that's a good It's a, a good question, good. I thought. What, what have you got? What, what, what well, I thought about this. You could go rural, or you couldn't, or you could try and think of a funny name or something. Or, mm. But I've gone for the Wobbly Farmer. <laughs> the Wobbly Farmer. <laughs> <laughs> Just I've, got, I've got one. 
Oh, the fuck. Slow down. <laughs> Do you know I'm going to call the sweaty shearer? The sweaty shearer? Fucking hell. All the shearers coming, they get sweaty. They have to yeah. clear. Um, the sweaty shearer. I like that. I like that so me. much. It's always me that just can't think on the spot. <laughs> to be this. fair, could could you reckon we could own a pub? You reckon it'll, it'll do well? No. Nah. Not with us three, no. What, We'd drink want? the profits. Yeah. I'm sorry, Dylan. We would. Unless, unless we put our own, we had our own tab and pay that off every night. Yeah, you'd have to pay you, that off. Do you reckon you'd be in there every night though, if you owned a, if you owned a pub? Yeah, because yeah, you want to see which bastards so, drinking all the fucking drink. <laughs> who, who your locals are that aren't us? <laughs> That'd be it. Are they as good as crack? No, probably not. <laughs> and then I guess the other question is: from now, obviously you, you've been to pubs, been drinking. How would you treat the customers as different to the pub? Like pubs we do now, they've got to be served quick. Local walks in the door, their pint's got to be poured. already there. It's got to be poured. I tell you, that's one even thing if I there's do a love. great big queue of people that have just turned up for their first pint, or they're on holiday or something. If they clock you coming through the door, just yeah. just I turn love, the tap. I on. love that. I love you know the reason I love looking after the locals. I think it's a great idea. It's because. In the summer, it's great. Everyone's on holiday. There's loads of customers. Mm-hmm. There's cyclists. There's all sorts going on. It's great. Pubs are making money. People are going out to eat. But as soon as that first bit of cold and rain comes, no one's coming on holiday. No one's... <laughs> Who's keeping your, your pub doors open? Yeah. This guy. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> well, it's like we always say. We've got to go past the pub and stuff and just make sure that the beer's all right and everything. Yeah. Make well, sure it's not going to pause in any bored. locals. Yeah. It's community service. It is. It is. It's literally go in there to test the barrels, make yeah. sure no one's going to die. Yeah. You know. And but you can't always, you cannot always get the answer from your first, from the first one. Nope. No, no because so what happens? Let me explain to you how brewery works. Okay, so <laughs> here we go. when when you <laughs> <laughs> science lessons with Dylan, <laughs> fucking hell, here we go. Part <laughs> three of the brewery. With We've got Dylan. the new Einstein down <laughs> the bottom end of the table. So full of shit. Aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely. Oh, well, oh, oh yeah, fuck me. I think we should give it a go. Say to a pub person, be like, "Can we run the pub for a week?" Oh, we did it. We did it. Um, to be fair, yeah, 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 big, big up, um, Nick. He um had two pubs. Yeah, and one of them was a little bit quiet. So me, Chris Reed, Sam O'Brien, we did a sort of farmer special. We got behind the bar, and we were like. Obviously, pouring. We had, we made up. We created like three cocktails. Like also Shit the, the PTO, the cab slag, and like <laughs> um, a three point linkage or something like that. And um, it was great now. And is the pub closed? <laughs> That's not the point. The point was a great. No, no. To be fair, <laughs> Drunk your profit. No, the pub's still out of good. business. Pub's still going. Good man. Living the dream. All helps, doesn't it? I That's think it. I could have a good one for the older farmers. Safe zone from the wife. What as the name of the as pub? the name of the pub? That's long, isn't it? Or just but you get zone. so many people in. Safe zone. Craig, would you come to my pub if I called it the safe zone for the from the wife? Yeah, if I could. He's shaking his head for saying <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, 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 or would you rather? No. <laughs> she listens to the podcast. No. Be nice, Craig. No, he wouldn't. He'll come straight home, won't you, Craig? Stick to farming. <laughs> <laughs> You'd rather go to the sweat to shear, I reckon. <laughs> But then end up like the wobbly farmer. That's it. Combine the fucking three. Have a mirror as soon as they come out of the pub that they see themselves as they're walking One out. One of them fucking mirrors you get at the fairground. You That's know that it. maze where, where they change you. All inside the pub. Yeah, just tripping you out as you come out the door. As you come out the door, just bang, bang. Where's the fucking door? The man in the mirror. Oh, yeah. Right. Well. I think let's lead it into the next segment, won't we? Straight yeah. into farming fuck ups. Farming fuck ups. Which is quite we, a big we're one. bringing that back this week. I think it's quite a big, big one now because these are up for grabs. They are indeed, yeah. They are up for grabs. Um, shall I start it off? Um, here's one we've had this week, actually. Um, I don't know if you boys have seen it, but nope. it's basically a quad bike in what is effectively a bog. Okay. <laughs> now. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, shit. shit, that's a bog and half. Why would you <laughs> consider? It's a fucking River Thames, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez. I what? thought you were the bog boy down on the marsh, Dylan. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> oh. But um, he's obviously attempted to drive through a bit and... <laughs> no. 
Well, I wonder how they got it out. Did I it? must admit, what was going through his mind when he thought, oh, I'll get through that. What have they got to be able to hook it on to? Have mm-hmm. they got, can you get to the tunnel? You, you can get to the... F- you get the grill. You get the yeah. grill, won't you? Oh. I thought he was going to go diving. <laughs> get his, get his suit Got on. the pressure washer out on that. Look that oh, we love it, really, don't we? That's yes. a good one. That's a good Back one. Yes. Um, right. You boys got any? Well, there's a bit of a story to this one of mine. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I hadn't actually thought... Well, here's a massive, massive fuck-up of mine. Probably one of the biggest fuck-ups I've had. But I never actually uh, thought about talking about it until now. <laughs> and, uh, okay. <laughs> so What's it turns that? out I was after a collie pup, and I booked one in the litter. Wanted a nice bitch, and I wanted a white, like a white assorted dog. Right. Yeah. Um, didn't think nothing of it. There was two white bitches in the litter. Put my name on one of them. Waited until we got it. Eight weeks. Brought it home, and uh, well. Didn't go down very well, did it? So it turns out this pup is stone cold fucking deaf. <laughs> <laughs> Are you wanted it for a working dog? Uh, yep. <laughs> How low did that go? All I can see is you in a field. Away! I'm fucking away! The dog's there just Fuck licking his so ass. <laughs> fucking dog! <laughs> Trying to do sign language to the yeah. dog. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> Get in the truck, you fucking bastard! Still licking her ass. <laughs> oh, mate. Oh, what a nightmare it was as well. Oh, so um, Yeah, but this is, this is a thing, though, that um, or albino pu- uh, yeah. collies end up being, um, have struggle, have struggle? Struggle hearing and yep. struggle seeing. Hmm. Um, yeah, that's why you got to look on the inside, inside of the dog's mouth. It'll tell you. Well. Oh, well. And now you, you live know. and you learn. You live and, uh, and you fucking learn. Did you get another dog after that? Uh, I haven't ventured into getting another puppy just yet. Are you going to try for a white one? <laughs> no, am I fuck? A deaf I'll one? Do that. I'll, I'm going to put my white bitch in puppy. Yeah, well, yeah. I don't want to repeat in the last fucking problem. No, mine, I? mine are quality assured, <laughs> mate. Quality guaranteed. I've never had such a headache in my fucking life. Oh, oh man. man. All that shouting and stuff definitely give you a headache, wouldn't it? Just to put it out there, though, the pup has been rehomed and it's now a house pet for somebody. But, yeah, good luck. Good luck to him. <laughs> good luck to him. That's all I'll say. Yeah. And anyone out there, don't get a white fucking collie. Cause I don't know I've got well. one. I don't know what he's on about. My Yeah, well, if I can get a good one, yeah, I'd love it. I'd love one. I've yeah. just offered you one. Right. If I would put it in a pub. <laughs> how, can we know, how do we know if they're not going to be dead? I'll tell you, mate. I'll tell you. <laughs> okay, all money back. Just, just get a couple of pans over the top of each pup, just smashing fuck. You want it twitched? Yep, that's definitely alive, yeah. That one can hear. Uh, yeah, yeah. If you weren't deaf before the pans, you'll be deaf after. Deaf now. After. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't deaf when it was born, but. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, what else we got? Fucking, we've got one, we've got a, fu- a fuck up here from a geezer, a lemon squeezer called uh, Callum. Um, and I can only describe to you what I see and what it looks like is his hedge cutting and a bit of the verge of the road has sunk away or something and the tractor's just fucking gone into the hedge, like leaned into the hedge. Shit. We're going to have to get a voice note from this because one, I want to know how the fuck did he get out? <laughs> That's true, yeah. <laughs> he climbed through the back window. <laughs> <down> <laughs> that wouldn't open very far because the hedge cutter on the back. <laughs> um... So yeah, this this is the picture. I'm sure. Um, oh, oh shit! Fuck. That's and already fucked. There's that. another one there from the front. Oh shit! So um, bet it was on his phone. <laughs> don't do it I'll like that. Bait your man yeah, out. Yeah, I bet it, bet it was. You see all the hedge cutters do it. They have a cheeky look down at their phone. Oh shit! Sorry, <laughs> hedge and cheek down a little bit. <laughs> nah. Is a good photo though. That is very good. Um, is what very have good. you got? So a f- yeah, my fuck up is. Something that happened the other week. I didn't get a photo of it because I was fuming that it happened. So there's me, um, bail carting, enjoying my time, listening to a bit of Amy Winehouse, a bit of words and everything in the old tractor, bobbing along, bouncing along, going down the lane that I've done about 30 runs on already. And I hit the pothole that I'd been avoiding the whole time. I bounced. I was like Neil Armstrong touching the moon again. <laughs> Fucking here we go. Get up the top of the road. Da-da, da-da. Puncher. Oh. Front and back wheel. Oh, <laughs> double. Yeah. Double fucked it. 
<laughs> Bale's on the back as well. Oh, I was like, shit. And uh, yeah, four hours later, finally got it all fixed. And I'm C back tires come out? C tires came out. Yeah. Good old C tires. <laughs> Always reliable. Hey, 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 hey. Don't plug businesses on this podcast. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> C- I, knew, I knew he was going to be two mans and two levers, was he? C tires, you want to sponsor us? <laughs> <laughs> I could have taken all the money from us anyway on the tires. But yeah, I was I was livid. I was just standing there. I was like, Fuck. "What did your boss say?" Mm, these things happen. Huh? Didn't speak for a couple of days afterwards. Didn't you? No, <laughs> no, no. I, I, I don't think I made a good imprint on the bank account. So I was just like, "Yeah, <laughs> fair enough." But um, you have to put them prices of your balls up next time. Yeah, literally, <laughs> literally. But, um, but yeah, no, that's my that's my farming fuck up. Um, <clears throat> love to also, hear. Well, I think I think we've got to say. Um, the pictures from the ones we've got yep. are going to be on the socials and the YouTube if you want to see them. Yeah. Um, and obviously we've got a bit of koozie up for up for grabs this week. Mm. Yeah. Fuck up of the week. Um, should we get Craig to choose it? Craig, do you want to let us know what do you think is a fuck up of the week? It's got to be the topic. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear you, yeah. <laughs> Fuck it, uh. <laughs> bloody dog. Yeah, you won't be making that mistake again, will you, Luke? Well, no, I hope to God I don't know. Fucking no. job. But, no, uh, like we say as well, on your farm, fuck ups, don't go out and do things on purpose and stuff. Yes, things happen, yes. be safe and stuff. It's a dangerous please, industry. Please, please. Does this mean I win my own koozie? You win your own koozie, mate. Yeah, well done. Can we get a photo of me next to it? You can win your own koozie, <laughs> or you could donate it to someone else. Now we'll put it back in the mix for next week. <laughs> there we go. There we mm-hmm. go. Double, they in. have two down next yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. Keep Jesus. Take it or double it. I'm going to run this business. <laughs> yeah, take it on or double it. Yeah, we'll have fucking 400 to go Literally. next week. <laughs> I'm going to um, run this business into bankruptcy. I'm <laughs> giving away all this shit. Um, <laughs> it is a shit, now, Dylan. It's a good product. It is, actually, I quite like it. <laughs> it's nice because it's still cold. cold. Yeah, beer's cold. You it's can brilliant. tell how much I've been using mine because mine are a bit, mine's a bit not as clean yeah. as, as you warm. boys. Um, but they're oh, absolutely good. fantastic. Um we got uh, a couple of unpopular opinions came in as well. Yeah. Ooh. What have you boys got? You go for it, Luke. Go on. Okay, I don't quite know how to word this the right way, but... Fuck them and feed them rice. <sighs> yeah, yeah, that's the main one. <laughs> Sheep farmers with, or just farmers in general, with their dogs, when you're shearing, letting them come round the shearing board... But then it links up to them not knowing how to keep their fucking dogs under control, just in general. Like, <laughs> just, yeah, put it in the fucking truck. Just put yeah. it away. Just put it away. Get rid of it. We don't want it round the sheep no. on the sheep board, you know? You're there shearing away, aren't you? It's happened so many times. We go a little terrier or a little fucking spaniel or something like that. It was charging around the front of the fucking board. <laughs> and you're doing these blows and the sheep just suddenly goes rock solid, doesn't it? And, yeah. and you're, you're thinking, what, what's up with it, you know? And then you see there's a bloody dog just licking its tail or something, picking up a bit of wool. <laughs> Eating the shit that's oh, just come out of the shit mate. Jars. Oh, it does my head in. <laughs> it really winds me up. And it, I know it winds you up as well. In the pub, when people bring their dogs in the pub, this man doesn't pet a collie. He doesn't pet them. No, no. <laughs> I don't pet those. And I, ha- I really hate it because people expect you to be really friendly to their dogs. Mm. But no, it's not my job to be friendly to your dog. Oh, it's just saying, no, I don't want to fucking say hello to your dog. Keep your dog to yourself. And they fucking let the dogs, you're sitting there drinking your pint, dogs jumping all over you and they're like, control your fucking beast. <laughs> Right or don't breathe. He says beast is a little chihuahua. Yeah. Yeah, he's a nasty bastard. <laughs> no, why? Why do no, I need no, to, to suffer? Fair, for, I know I, where I, you're I coming from. Fucking why? It does. It, honestly, you've upset me now. You've oh, fuck, you fuck's sake. Well, because there's no dogs in here, are there? No, but what? Just I. I don't have. It's not my job to like your dog. <laughs> no, I know. So now anyone that sees Dylan, yeah. um, bring I'll, your dog I'll, over I'll, and uh, have a meet and greet. Try me. Just sit try it on his lap, all right? Try me. Can't take a selfie with Dylan and your try dog. Try me, see what happens. I get to go home to the movie. I can do what I want. <laughs> no, you are right, though. Just this... Like, I like dogs. The balance. I it's really, the balance. I really yeah. like Don't dogs. Don't baby your dog. No. Especially a farm dog. No. Don't baby it. You do what you want with your dog, but do what you want what? away from me. Well, yeah, but... The respect line. Yeah. I think this kind of goes into the next one that's come through. I don't know why this week it's all been about dogs, but mm. we'll go with it. But um, 
how much is your dog worth to you? So obviously we've all got dogs that we're working or what have you. How much is a dog worth to you? Like with insurance and stuff, would you get your like work insurance for them? If something went wrong, what's the amount that you would spend on them? All oh, right. Or would That's you just kind of? I've actually never paid money for a dog. How did you? St- well, you got given one. Huh? They you came got with given a your job. first one. Yeah, I got given my first dog, oh. and that had a pup. But I've never, I've never bought a dog. Never yeah. bought a dog. It's oh. interesting. Okay. All home so, boy. It's not home bred. <laughs> the worth is nil to me. <laughs> <laughs> You crawl back. <laughs> no emotional connection at all with the dog, but there we are. Yeah, but in terms of work value, they are worth their weight in gold. Oh, yeah, You, know, yeah. you can't 100%. replace them no. very quickly. At 100%. Least. So if you get a good dog, they're, they're not replaceable. Yeah, yeah. Um, but also, I'm not I'm not paying a, like, a six grand vet bill. I'm telling nah. you, I'm not. Mm. I, I, even, a, even a grand's worth of fucking vet bills, I'm sitting there thinking... Yeah. Remember that time you were cunt in that field? Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you want to try me <laughs> again? The dog's now deaf. <laughs> yeah. um, no, but we couldn't do what we do without the dogs. Not at and, all. Um, mm. It's. I think it's. Yeah. They're your best friend. You see yeah, more of them I mean, than you do anyone else. For me, my dog literally is everything to me, kind of thing. Yes. But that's only because I've had him since I was eight. He was eight weeks old, and he's done work with me everything and it's like one man and his dog kind of thing i'll treat them with i'll treat my dog with a lot of respect mm-hmm. and he knows and i know i know it's like when he when I, when I went away and came back for a week before my brother's wedding he wasn't in the house or anything with me he was at where he was staying man it felt so weird not having the dog there it's, uh, it, see, it's the respect that's, that's, isn't that'll be it? my yeah. unpopular opinion but i'll, I'll come oh I'll come yeah into, okay I'll come but, into it. but you are right though so I've seen a video this week from someone we know around here who's mm. just lost his dog and he did a TikTok of it and the hurt in his voice, you know, he's oh, know. Yeah, so yeah. upset. Yeah. And you think, bless his heart. It, it, Some of them are though. Some of them are part of the family and stuff. Uh, and, yeah. and I guess, yeah, you, you've got different sorts of dogs in a sense of you've got ones that are fully working and they're mm-hmm. literally, their mind is set to be working and others are a bit kind of, relaxed but can still work or others are just little shits and don't listen you give them the best life they can yeah 100 you know? percent. can have yeah. 100%. well that, that you've got to do that you've got to do especially for me for working dogs it's the amount of stuff like mm. that bella dog of mine the things we've done some people's dogs can only dream of doing pg please yeah, PG, yeah we don't want to hear about this oh, don't make it fucking sound <laughs> weird, a pair of fucking assholes <laughs> fuck's sake <laughs> me and my dog <laughs> no mate we've, we've, fucking, down we've, south. We've, we've been through the fucking wars together yeah. I'll tell you that much That's... Um, fuck me one day I remember one day we had like 700 uh, lambs running down the road and this dog covered all those gaps on her own wow. fuck she slowed down now the old girl but Back, back in her day, we, yeah. the the funniest bit, the the thing I find weird about, so all the all my other dogs apart from Bella, you can give to anyone and anyone can work them. Mm-hmm. This thing will not listen to anyone. No, nope. uh, it's terrible. If you want to go away somewhere, it's fucking terrible because you can't really give it anyway. Yeah, you can't say, "Oh, look after my dog," because she's just. And why she's my perfect dog, I tell you this now. All the other dogs are like in between your legs and well, oh, can you scratch my ear? Oh my, she's pissed off halfway across the field. She's not chasing any sheep or anything. She's just pissed off. I don't give a fuck, mate. Stay, or, the, stay, yeah, yeah, yeah. stay, stay or go. I don't give a fuck. I do what I want. It's just my perfect dog. That's what I like. In yeah, dog. yeah. I don't yeah. like these fucking needy dogs. You shut the door and oh, you've left me here. Oh my god. Oh my god. What am I gonna do? I'm meant to be this big bad Sounds word. Like fucking Pluto, Mickey Mouse. Yeah, yeah, Pluto. Pluto. <laughs> Fucking joke. It, 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 Disney sat and sign him up. <laughs> it's, I just think is is yeah. We'll bring the mic kit as well. There we go. It's a waste of time. You can't do anything with your life. You can't leave your dog at home. Oh, well, yeah. it's gonna be upset. I can't leave it alone for two hours. <laughs> yeah, oh no. my god, it's fucking. Oh fuck me. They got food. They got water. What? Well, yeah. You take it out for walks. You, yeah, yeah. You, you know, when you're home, you're home. But you've got yeah. to do. You've got to have a life. You can't. Oh, we can't go there with so-and-so because so-and-so has to bring their dog because the dog mm, can't yeah, stay right, home alone because right. it's got separation anxiety. <laughs> or, it's meant to be a fucking wild or beast. Or gaffer. <sighs> fucking. That's my unpopular Discipline. That's the word. my unpopular Discipline, opinion. Discipline, Dylan. So, my unpopular opinion is 
I know where he's going to go with this. And um, I'm looking at Craig now because uh, lovely Sky lives here. Um, I can't deal with indoor dogs. So, um, you're, so you're saying indoor or outdoor dogs? Yes. For me personally, especially because mine are working dogs, you, you take you take the dog out, get covered in shit, mud. Mm. Your dog comes back. My dog lives inside, and to be honest, it was probably the worst mistake that I ever did. Just on the pure basis that what you were just saying is, you get them, take them out and stuff. They get covered in shit and everything. Mm-hmm. Go come home. Then you got to come home, clean the bloody ass because they've just traipsed all the shit into the house and everything. Or they're starting to molt because mine's a long-haired one. So then you've got fucking hair all over the place. See, uh, yeah, it's both all mine are out. And for me, like, I'll you know stroke my dogs, whatever, whatever. But you, you've had a long day. You've been shearing however many sheep. You sit on the sofa. Then the dog's on top of the sofa. And the dog's in between yeah. your legs. And you try and walk out and you trip over the dog. And you ah, oh, mate. To be fair, it's I must admit, my, my dog is good. He he knows where he go. He'll always go straight into the house. And he'll always go to one corner and just lie, lie mm-hmm. in that corner. And he won't move. That's good, yeah. Or when um, they're begging for food. That's even the worst bit. Fucking uh, hell. Yeah. Ooh, you're there just about tucking your Sunday roast. And this dog just pops up. Ooh, sit down, get out of the room. But now, yeah, it's just. Yeah. But it's funny. So when I brought my first bitch, before I had the kennel sorted, she came in for three weeks. I think the worst three weeks of my life with that dog. Really? Oh fuck! There's no respect because they're coming into your well. Yeah. yeah. They, they they're in there. Then you know they're looking mm. at you going, oh well, I'm, I can sit in front of the Argo and, and and warm myself mm. up, or mm. I can go here. As soon as she went out there, good as gold. And so is the other one. You know, I wouldn't have them in. Never would have them in. Uh, definitely mm. and because you make a fucking mess I don't it? think I, I think yeah next one I can be outside dog I mean, most of the time my dog always wants to sit outside anyway yeah won't want to come in but um, yeah it's just that's my unpopular opinion nah, I suppose that's... a lot of people haven't got the uh, facilities to have them out either well yeah that you know I think a lot you... of people as well think it's h- harsh well yeah it's cold Ooh. minus yeah. six outside it's cold no it's fucking not yeah, I, I like, might have got a little heater I, in there. I would, yeah, I'd put a heat lamp yeah, out. When yeah, it gets cold, I'll put a heat lamp yeah, out and whatnot. Yeah, you don't, you don't obviously mm-hmm. neglect your dog because, like you say, we, I, I could not do after. what I do without the no. dogs. No. No chance. No chance now. Imagine you're trying to pen a group a group of sheep. Yeah, a thousand ewes in a mob. How the fuck are you going to get them in with your running track? Running around up and down. And yeah, no chance. <laughs> do you remember when you and I left the dogs at home? That was fucking <laughs> stupid. He made me run. He made me do so man. So we got a heap of dogs between a pair of us and we turned up to get his group of sheep in and we didn't have one with us. And we're like, oh, fuck. Jesus. <laughs> he made me oh, do man. Come by, Dylan. Come by. I was going to wait. Lie down. <laughs> I'm telling you. I tell you what, though. They ran straight in the pen, straight into the trailer, yeah. but we did have to work for it. Oh, I bet. Please. Oh. Didn't buy me a pint, nothing to blow. Oh, come off it. <laughs> come off it. Don't uh, speak foreign to me. Fucking hell. <laughs> come off that. Oh, I'll dear. buy you one now. Um, but, yeah. We're off on a jolly, aren't we? Unfortunately, we've come to this part of the podcast. Well, this yeah. is the end. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, but We're off on a jolly, boys, aren't we? Coming, coming, up, coming up next week, we have got the one, the only... West Berkshire show. Um, so. <laughs> this luck. This luck. What the fuck? I don't know. Is that what we signed up for? We paid all that money to go to West Berkshire show. Literally. Fuck it. Now, Can I cancel? It's, it's the, Sell the ticket. Royal, Royal Welsh. The Royal Welsh show. Have any of you ever been before? No, I've heard a lot about it though. You've been? Oh, yeah? Mm. No. No. no never We're all been. virgins. Apparently, apparently it's like. In like a valley. In the, valleys. the valleys. And the nightlife apparently is amazing. I've heard, I've heard, I've heard some, yeah, some fair but words about it. they got some big queues. Because apparently it's literally the main gathering for all the Welsh people. Like, there uh, will be thousands of people there. Uh, um, I will, I will, well, we need to decide when we go. I want to go see the speed chair. Yes. That's on the Sunday, That's meant it? to be mega beers flowing, everything yeah. is, yeah. I'll be keen. Let's do it. Book it in. Um, but on. yes, We're if you're in if you're in Wales, the uh, SBU is coming on tour. SBU is coming to your doorstep. We, we are, are actually going out out of the country. Oh my god! Fuck! Shit! We're going over the border. 
I don't like having a new passport. Wait, do I need a passport? No, don't. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Did you really ask that? Has <laughs> uh, it got a fresh stamp from Canada? I haven't. Know? This is the thing as well that pissed me off. Yeah. It's all biometric now, isn't it? Didn't get a stamp. Ah, oh, what? Did you get a stamp, Craig? No. I was no. fuming. I literally wanted a passport that had a stamp in it, saying I've been on holiday. Nope, no chance. Um, oh, yeah, so Royal Welsh. Um, mm-hmm. still we'll be there. We'll, we'll put it everywhere, won't we? We'll yeah, have a good yeah. laugh. And so, we're going to take the mics, do some interviews. Oh, yes. Take some mics, do some interviews. Oh, so yes, if you see us, we? don't go running the other way. Come running towards us with your arms open, and we'll all laugh and have a drink. Have a drink. But more importantly, can people start not being so scared and sending your farming fuck ups and gatepost secrets because these are up for grabs now and everyone's got a little bit scared, haven't they? I know we've had it's some good scary. ones. We're not. We're, I know we've had some scary good ones. People. It can all be anonymous. Yeah. You know. Yes. We don't have to put your name to it. Yeah. Do we, Do we need to explain the the the, the basis behind like gatepost secret? What it is? Because I don't know if people actually understand what it would we mean by. I still gatepost don't understand secret. it. Yeah. <laughs> you go, go on, Dylan. Go on. You explain. So basically. What happened was, um, what we mean by it is on every farm, everywhere you go, you speak to someone and they'll be telling you a secret and they say, this stays between you, me and the gatepost. So the theory behind it is, what does the gatepost know on your farm? Or so basically spill the beans. Right, got you. Even yeah. though I did get you before, but I just want to hear it again. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, in all seriousness, send them in on all socials and... Yeah. These are up for grabs. Um, That's it. Well, there was the other thing as well that just came out. Oh yeah, we've already done a giveaway, haven't we? We've done our first ever giveaway. Yeah. Ooh. So we've got we've got our first giveaway winner. Uh, thank you very much, Ernest Doringma, for putting in all the products. Very of nice. Case gear. Nice little and bundle kit, isn't it? It is a proper bundle yeah. kit. And Helen Griffiths is one from Laundridge Farm, and we want to see some photos of you wearing all the kit. Yeah. Yes, definitely. congratulations. Um, thank yeah. you yeah, very congratulations. much. And uh, thank you to all the people who did enter That's it. and who followed us. And uh, we hope you enjoy what we do. And we have been. I have been the black. I'm Leighton. I have been the ugly. I'm Luke. And I have been the short, I guess. And I'm Dylan. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's it. I get to say it this week. Yeah, you do. I get to say it this week. I was just about to go in. Go on. Send, go on, it on. send her on. That's the wind up in the pitch. Play ball. Let's go to the pub. <laughs>